Okay, so that is working. I wonder why... Ah, that, that's, that's strange. It was working. No, it's not. So... It looks like the stream is not working properly for some reason. Ah, no. There we go. Okay. Host mode ended. Just making sure that everything is working here. So, and if that's the case, then we can move on. It's this again. Oh, come on. I just deleted all of those. So reload again. It's up there. Nothing. Okay. That's very strange. Okay. Looking good. We are set to go. I will be in the chat. Okay. So let's see and call him on Skype. So let's check this out. Hello? Hey. Alex Usher. Hi. Hey, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. It, it seems like we have a little bit of second. a delay. I'm going to try to put you on Bluetooth. Hold on. Okay, no problem. We got time. I have to put you on speaker because it won't let me use my Bluetooth. Okay, no problem. So I'm here, so you want to just let me know what I should do? Yes, of course. So first of all, I think I did send you... I think I did send you... Um, I'm, I'm hearing me twice. I'm hearing me twice. That's a little bit annoying, to be honest. I think it's because of the speakers, but I'm not sure. Let me see. I think I see it. I, uh, I checkmarked to make you a friend. Mm -hmm. So I see you here. I don't know what I, I see your, your popping up here. Oh, awesome. Okay, so I can invite you to a party. Nice. Okay. Um, do, do you think you can put the, the smartphone or the microphone a little bit more away from the speakers? Because I'm hearing myself talking like five seconds after I did speak, which is really difficult to concentrate. Cool. Okay, I turned off my computer speakers completely. Okay, so you can still hear me. Do you no. want me to try to call you? Okay. I can hear you, yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, apparently it didn't do anything. I can try to call you back if it's not good. Yeah, just just try it. I mean would would be nice. I'll I'll call you right back. Okay, okay, no problem. Yeah, that's, that's, that can happen. I mean, sometimes it's, it's just difficult for me personally to concentrate on <laughs> what I'm speaking, especially due to the fact that I love to form long sentences. So if I hear myself just what I, you, you get the point, I think. Hello, hello, test, test. Hello, hello, test, test. Is that any better for you? Not really, sadly. Oh, I, I don't know what the problem is, so... I don't know what the problem is, so... 
do you do you have a WhatsApp app? I've called I've called talked to somebody from Germany with a WhatsApp app, and it works pretty well. Do you have that app? WhatsApp. I mean, I do have WhatsApp, but then I can't WhatsApp. use the WhatsApp. mic. Yeah, yeah, but I then, mm, then I can't really record what we are doing right now. It would be difficult. So why? Just, just give me a second. Why do I hear myself? Um, if you, just, just to check for me, can you? You're, you're, you're on Skype right now, right? So if you, yes. if you, if you, if you, mu if you mute your phone, then I shouldn't be able to hear myself. I shouldn't also be able to hear you. So oh, that's difficult. Yeah. Alright, I'm about to mute. Okay. So now I. Okay, I can now talk to you, but you can't talk back to me, which is really not good in this case. I need to know your questions and everything, otherwise this this wouldn't be make any sense. Just just unmute it. I think we have to go like this. I I can't change it right now. Nothing I can do about it. Okay will just be really difficult for me. But, okay, I, I like a challenge, so we do it. No problem here. Um, actually, now I think it's fine. Oh, for, uh... Okay, never mind. Um, I would say we just go into the game already, and then we start okay. with the actual coaching. Good, so I did watch the two games you played, or, or you sent me, and I will mm -hmm. think the better mm -hmm. game to analyze and help you out is definitely TVT currently. Uh, I don't know about your TVC, but okay. the, the first things we need to check for you are not race specific at all. Like there, let me just change okay. this. That's wrong. This? No, this. There we go. Okay, so um, overall, I saw you have a pretty good understanding of what StarCraft 2 is about. So the, the fundamental um, thoughts mm -hmm. are there. Here in this game, for example, you're playing Gas First, which is definitely viable. And I would also recommend you to mm -hmm. get one build order. I will sort one for you out later on maybe, which then you can practice a lot mm -hmm. to get that specific build order down in all three matchups. Um, it won't be ideal for sure, but up until Diamond, it's totally enough to have only one good build order which you can execute perfectly. That's totally fine. In the most mm -hmm. cases, mm -hmm. it seems that you just need to work on fundamental stuff, like constantly producing units, um, maybe using a little bit, uh, a little bit the, the minimap, stuff like that. So, so really basic things, maybe don't get supply blocked, so that you can constantly produce units and keep your money, which you harvest low. <laughs> So we, we will just skip a little bit further to, to, to show you some things um, Okay, so here here we are right there This this is one very important thing. Mm -hmm. I, I don't go on too much of your build order now It's a little bit scrappy, but still okay the most important part is is here, mm -hmm. where you are in his base with your Reaper, and you did scout, you did throw mm -hmm. the, the grenade, awesome. But now you need to realize, okay, mm -hmm. what is this mm -hmm. guy actually doing? Like, what what I want mm -hmm. my students to to know is, think while you're playing, use your brain. What do you see? What 
is he potentially thinking? What do you need to do to stop him? So in this case, you see three barracks, two gas, and no expansion, which tells you he will definitely go mm -hmm. for a lot of reaper. Question. As the ga yeah question. Uh, right, right. Yeah, I, I, I thought he was going on aggression, but I, I didn't put together Reaper. I should have thought Reaper when I saw the two gases, though. Yeah, the two gases in combination with the three barracks. If there would have been all, only one barracks, yes. then it would most likely be a factory, and due to the fact you didn't scout it in his main base, right. potentially proxied here, maybe there, uh, right. yeah, some, right. so, something like that. So, So this is... While, while you're playing, you get pieces of information which you need to try to figure out how to how to put them together to give a full picture of what he's doing. Right. So normally you would now right, know Reapers, okay, blah 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 blah, nice nice nice. And yes, your build order isn't the best, okay. We will sort this out later. So he can jump in, deal lots of damage. Potentially, there you go. Okay, lots of damage. In in a real game, I mean, okay, that was badly uh, said, but in a professional game, let's put it that way, this situation would already be game over for you. Um, he has six Reaper, and you have uh. one Reaper and one Marine, which is way too less to defend this at all, especially with the... Reaper grenades. Um, so let me let me see. Okay, let me go on to the build order for now first because this is indeed very important. I wanted to do it later, but it's it wouldn't make any sense. Okay, so here's everything fine. In in this position, build order 100% correct. Uh -huh. Everything good. Awesome. You're doing an awesome job here. So yeah. far, with the build. It's, it's basically the same he's doing, unless the additional barracks are coming down for him. So, and now, right. now your barracks finishes up. And what you're gonna do, okay, you do three things at once, which is really good, but the supply depot is too early. You don't need it right now. And this is because of two things. First of all, you're getting the orbital command, so this building, your command center, can't produce SCVs. And you're producing a Reaper, which takes half a minute, as well as the supply depot, roughly. Supply depot is 10 sec seconds less, but you can't produce a lot of units in this time. So the three supply you have left open are more than enough. Instead of going for the supply depot, you want to go for the command center, the, your expansion, as soon as possible. Okay. And also, so you think command center before factory? Um, if you want to play a macro-oriented style, so with late game, etc., yes. If you want to rush him and play a uh, one base, then no. It really depends on what build order you want to play, but I would tend for go for the expansion. Uh, if you want to improve as a player, sure you can mm -hmm. cheese your opponent like up until GM. It's possible, but in my opinion it doesn't make you to a great player and for me personally it's not fun. If you want to do this, sure we can do it. You can you can tailor the coaching yeah, toward yeah. cheesing. I think the only reason I've ever done that, the only reason I think I ever do that is just because I try to get a siege tank out sooner than later mm -hmm. when I expand. Okay. Back in the day I used to get beat early because I wouldn't have the siege tank out to defend. But yeah, yeah that makes sense. I see. To, um, the siege uh, tank is the awesome. And the, and the, yeah. the siege tank is awesome. It's it's just the, the timing when you get it. Um, like against the against the Reaper, it was a little bit late. It did held off. I saw the replay. It did held off the Reaper somehow. But you took lots of SCV damage. Um, also, what you want to do normally in a TVT Especially because of the three barracks build. When your barracks is halfway done, you want to send one SAV to scout. Don't wait for the Reaper. You can do it, but then the reaction window for you is 
really uh, short. The SEV, if you send, if you would send one SEV out think... now to scout, um, it would check his main. That makes sense. I think the reason I do that, I think I. I... Okay. Yeah. I think I send a Reaper instead of the SUV just because I've seen I watch videos of people doing that, but obviously they're much better than me and are able to, mm -hmm. to do that. Yes, that's why I've always um, sent the Reaper. If you, if of, you, yeah, that makes sense completely. Yeah. If you have, we, we can check what what would happen. So, okay, let's see. Roughly at this time, your SUV would now go into its main base and see everything. His barracks are not even completed, which means he either has to commit or to cancel the barracks and he will be a little bit behind due to the loss of minerals. If you, if you cancel a building, con uh, a construction building, then you only get, I think, mm -hmm. three quarter back of the, of the resources you put into it. So, right. If you if you cancel a command center, you only get 300 instead of 400 minerals back. So he would have to right. either commit or not, and this would give you the time to go for a factory instead of the command center because now you see it. If you if you wouldn't have built the supply right. depot, you would be at 300 minerals and 100 gas immediately factory, maybe or maybe even the reaper first. It's it's okay. It depends a little bit on, on how you want to react to it. You can go Hellions, Widow Mines can work if you have the high ground. Go 3 Rex Reaper yourself. If you have the high ground, it's really difficult for him to do anything. Or you can go with uh, second mm. gas, go up to Banshees, Liberator and just kill him because he is on 3 barracks. You have flying units, Reaper can't shoot up, GG. Stuff like that. Yeah. So this is why I would go yeah. for the SUV scout. Later on, it's getting more difficult, and you want you you don't want to SUV scout anymore because it will screw up your build order. But for now, in in gold league, platinum league, diamond league, even master tier three, SUV scout is the way to go. I would say. Okay. Yeah, that makes um, sense. Does your reaper have the move command on or the attack command? Move command, okay. If you have any units other than SCVs and they are not retreating, then use the attack move command. Which means you don't just right click on the field, okay. but you press the A button and left click on where they have to move. So yeah. in, in this case, because he is doing it as well, if you, if you look at his Reaper, okay, uh, he is move commanding as well, so Right now, where he jumps up, could him. you could have attacked him, and immediately he needs to retreat. If he messes up with the grenade, if you don't do any mistakes, his Reaper needs either to retreat, or in the best case, you kill it. Which is a very heavy blow to right. his all-in cheese, whatever. So, attack command all right. over. Like, if you retreat, not. Of course not. But if you if you move... Attack command, very, very important. Right. Okay, so build order we know already not okay. the best. Uh, I'm just writing uh, the notes. What about hotkeys? I don't know if you noticed what I do with my hotkeys. I've always wondered if if there's a certain numbers that's beneficial to put production mm -hmm. buildings on okay hotkeys or, very or good is very it just good. whatever feels good to you yes um i see you want to go really serious on this so that's awesome i don't see your hotkey layout with the um replay layout i have currently can you just shortly tell me if you are using control groups or not hotkeys which one so that i can picture myself what you are doing currently <laughs> So, so for my hotkeys, I'll put my production on three, four, and five. I'll put barracks on three, factory mm -hmm. on four, starport on five. I put okay. my command centers on six. And then a lot of times when I 
do control groups, it's probably a bad habit, but I'll just do F2 and okay. pull all of them. Um, too often. It's not. It's, it's not too often that I'll pull a control group. Yeah, but you. It it depends on what you do. I see even pro gamers, real GSL pro player, use the F2 hotkey. So at some point it's useful. You are now at Gold League. I don't know how much StarCraft 2 you played, but from what I heard, most people would also agree. Disable F2 as soon as possible. Go into the hotkey section and delete this hotkey. Um, at first, it will be a pain in the ass, to be honest with you. But if you if you get used to it, like after 100 games, I don't know, to use uh, and to command your army manually, you will just be such a better player compared to me, for example. I'm still using F2, and let me tell you, I, it's screwing up. Uh, up drops defenses like it's it's the worst thing you can ever do is using f2 if you wouldn't mind trying it out i would definitely mm -hmm. disable it because i think you are a very I, i'm not sure are you a fresh player to starcraft 2 or had you a long break or uh, no. Yeah, no, a long break. I mean, I played StarCraft 1 a lot, mm -hmm. and I played StarCraft 2 for quite a while when it was just uh, Heart of the Swarm, and then I took a long break, probably a couple years, Okay. maybe a little bit more. And okay. just recently, just a couple, let's say about a week and a half, two weeks ago, I started playing again. Awesome. So should we go into the hotkey section right now and disable for you the stupid F2 hotkey? Does this make sense to you, or do you um, want to stick yeah, with it? Okay. So, yeah, yeah. if no. you go to the options... No, that makes sense. Uh, let me check where is it. If you go to the options... Let me see. Yeah, options, and then... Is it unit management? Where is it? Da, 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 da. Uh... I think it should be in the unit management, but I'm not sure. What in the middle? So it's it's on it it should be on global, but I, and then I think on unit management. Yeah, there it is. Select army units. Okay. So hotkeys global unit management select army units. And there you just delete it, so it's not set at any hotkey. You can still click it in the game if you need it, but the habit to just press F2 and A and move into your opponent will get eradicated. So that's really good. Gotcha. Yeah. Awesome. Gotcha. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Um, what's next? Hotkeys. Right. We were on the on the. On the control group. So what I personally do, it depends on how long your fingers are and how comfortable you are. But this, this is something you can figure out yourself. What I would first do for you is um, have all production facilities like uh, barracks, factories and the starport on one control group. So you have the barracks, the factory, and the starports on, for example, six. Mm -hmm. For me, it's six. I, I've chosen six. And what you do then is you press the control group, build everything you need in the barracks, use the tabulator key, then it jumps to the factory where you then can produce widow mines or tanks or helmets or whatever you need. Again, tabulator, and then you jump to the starport and can produce medivacs, vikings, liberator, whatever you need. So you, you switch through the production mm -hmm. facilities, having them all on one hotkey. Um, the thing is, it also helps you because in the menu bar, you see how much you are producing in all three different facilities at once. So you can better picture and manage your resources and your, mm -hmm. your unit production. Um, what I also would do is, oh. if you have e-base, also engineering base, and the armory, have those with the command centers. On the same? Yes. 
And this is because not all, only will you spare space for army movement and uh, I mean army control, but it will also help you if you if you work on your macro like constant SCV production, constant mule call down. For example, here your mule your your, your orbital command is on 80 on 80 energy. At 50, you want to throw down a mule. Um, this is I I don't. I can't say for sure, but I think every two to three SCVs, which should be 40 to 60 seconds. I I can't know it for sure right now, which is sad. But this is at 50 energy. You want to call down a mule. Bam! Actually, we can check. Let's let's just check for you that you know. So how fast are we? Let's see. Won't won't take long. So that we can get this straight. Okay, so you call down the mule right. Come on, there's the mule. There it goes. Okay, two minutes five, and to reach fifty-five. Da, 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 da. Bam. Okay, so it is roughly one minute. One minute yeah, and wait. five seconds, which is three SCVs. If I'm not mistaken, no wait, it's more 6 SCVs. 1 SCV is 12 seconds. Let me check. Nah. Yeah, 12 seconds. So every 6 SCVs basically you can throw down on you. Um, the thing is, with, with having the eBase and the Armory in the same control group, you will constantly check if your upgrades are ready because you are producing SCVs every 10 seconds. Which means every 10 seconds, basically, you have the chance right. in the same control group to see the small white icon. It's still producing yes or no. And slowly but surely you will get a feeling for when you need to transition, uh, get the armory for the next set of upgrades, etc. So instead of having five control groups, you can also right. work with only two. So here it took lots of damage, which was a little bit unfortunate. But it's still okay. The bunker was a very neat idea. Wasn't too bad. In in higher leagues you will not need it, but I have to say as long as you're spending your money, you're doing great. In in Gold League it's all about getting money and spend it. ASAP. If you do this, you will instantaneously hit platinum. Yeah. And if you improve it even further, diamond. It's it's as simple as that. After my coaching or with my coaching, you won't win 100% of your games. That's an illusion I have to take from you. But you will see you will maybe win 55 or 60% of your games instead of 50 or 45 or, uh, uh, yeah, 45 or 40. So you will yeah. see slow, maybe slow, maybe f rapid. I don't know. It depends on you how much you practice, how, how good you can implement what I tell you. But you will see improvement definitely. And the average of the games you win should increase significantly. So let's see what you're doing right now. Yeah. Out. It's okay. Oh yeah, next thing. Important, important, important. Um, this game is not... Th this replay is not the, ver uh, the best for it, but with the supply blocks. Um, you know, you're now, for example, yeah. on... 55 or 55, and there is no supply depot in production, which means you can't produce yeah. units for 21 seconds. Um, that's like one complete production cycle out of all your production facilities. That's a lot. Like 10, maybe in later 20 yeah. or even 30 supply, which you can potentially miss out there. 30 is a little bit high, but you get the point. It's it's bad. So what you want to do? Let's let's assume mm -hmm. you didn't have to deal with the stupid Reaper. Okay? Let's just think. Reaper never happened. Mm, let me see. Okay. So as soon as you're, it's really difficult. Let's. Let's go to to the other replay here. This this is bad to show you. Let's let's jump to the to the TVP.
to leave this game? Yeah, yeah, please. Um, I, I need I need the numbers straight for you because in this game in this TVT you lost too many worker, so we definitely need a, a solid game to say the least. I also liked in this game you did scout very well and you did react quite nicely in this TVP. You saw two gates, which is a good sign for aggression coming onto you, and you did bunker up, get ready for the attack. Which was awesome. I, I like that. So I, I already see you're not just playing. No, you're using your brain while you play. That that's really good. And you should you should keep this up. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, also in in TVP, barracks halfway done. SUV scout. Hmm. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Yeah. TVP is probably my worst right now. It can be such a pain. I know TV, it. TV, I'm okay. And TVZ, I, T, TVZ is my best. I do a mech with TVZ and mm -hmm. that'd be my best. TVT, I'm okay. Okay. TVP, I lose way more. Yeah, anyway. TVP can be very difficult. That's that's true. So let, let's let's check what, what happened here. You still did react in time and it, it was everything fine with the Reaper. So that's that's okay. I also like that in this in this game so far you have a really good build order. Um, the one thing is the Marauder doesn't really fit into this at all. You should always go for the Reactor and then for Marines. The Marauder is not helping you much against Adepts, not much against a Pylon Rush. Uh, rush. Not helpful against the Mothership Core. It's okay against a Stalker, but this all, almost never happens. Uh, definitely against Oracle, it's useless. And those are the most units you will find early in the game against a Protoss who is cheesing you. Oof. So, okay. <laughs> you did nice with the Reaper. Let, let's see. Your Reaper comes in right now. Okay, Reaper comes in. These two gates. Okay, what you now should do is first of all check for a Nexus. It still could be the case that he's throwing down a Nexus mm -hmm. soon, and can and, and don't go for the Stargate. You don't know. You need to know. Is there a Nexus? Yes or no? I would I would just have a glimpse on it, and then go with the Reaper. You can have it the other way around as well. But what you should do is, if you see two gates, check his gases. In this instance, you went immediately for the probe kills, and you never knew was there a Stargate, a robotics facility, a Twilight Council, nor a second gas. You didn't fully scout his main base. And, and this information right here is very important for you. And you didn't get it at all, sadly. <laughs> so, small detail, but... Mm -hmm. At least you did check for the Nexus, so you can think, okay, something is coming. Bunkering up, really nice, but against an Oracle, this bunker is quite useless. It's still good that you get it because of the double gates. So a Pylon Rush will have a more or less difficult time against you. But the Oracle will hit you hard. Okay, so your command center yeah. finishes immediately Oracle they, command. Yeah, they got me. Yes, the oracles can be so, so difficult. Okay, let's see when you got, just to, for you to know. Okay. So, there goes your command center. 10 seconds. Almost 15 seconds you are too late with the orbital command. Morphing. Almost. It's okay. So you have, if, if you improve this, your orbital command could be done 15 seconds earlier, which means you could have produced one SCV more and have the mule one quarter out already mining. Oh, and if you would have Do scouted... Do you press spacebar as soon as you hear a building done? Mm, you can do it. I have disabled it because for me it was too much jumping and I know already what is happening if I hear it. 
I also did disable the alerts on the left side. Oh. They are disturbing towards me. But it's fine if you use it. Um, I mean, if it says <laughs> command center complete or however it, it, it tells you, you just need to, to get slowly but surely over, over time a feeling on, on when things are happening. So in this instance, your command center finishes at 3 minutes 10. Orbital command more, more, uh, You also see it, you can also, this, this is the thing I wanted to, to, to tell you as well with the supply blocks. Um, because you didn't send the SAV building the command center back to work, you will have the idle SAV mm. button uh, glowing or, or, you know, telling you there is one idle SAV. So by clicking it or pressing the hotkey, it will jump to the SAV. You can send it then to the mineral line and also have the command center work. So if you have always a look on the on the minimap. This baby sounds. This baby sounds. Where's the idle SCV button? This may sound stupid, but I've never used that. It's right next to Where the, the idle SCV. It's it's right next to the army or army hotkey uh, button. I mean, so over the minimap you have the select all army button. And right next to it, there is the idle SAV button, oh. and it will it will light up as soon as okay. one SAV is not doing anything. And for supply blocks, now now comes the neat trick: if you if you have like at 38 supply or maybe 40, you will start. You want to start to have. So let's get this down. It's start constant supply depot production and you do this with the it's it's called the idle uh, idle worker trick so at 40 supply you have one SCV building a supply depot and you don't shift click it back to the mineral line you don't so what happens is as soon as the SCV finishes yeah. It will become idle, and you will see it if you pay attention to the idle worker button. You click the hotkey, for example, for the idle SAV, and right immediately build the next supply depot. And this keeps on going up until 200 supply at maximum. And there is one thumb of a rule. One SAV constant production uh, builds, I mean, builds constant supply depots for each base you have. So if you are on two bases, like mm. two orbital commands, you have two SCVs constantly producing supply depots. Three bases, three SCVs constantly producing supply depots. Later on you will get a feeling and sometimes only have one, sometimes only have two. It also depends a little bit on the game, but this rule of thumb will, it, it should help you a lot with never ever be supply kept again. Okay. I'm also writing okay, I'll try uh, it. down everything Just again, for you. Next to the mini map, all I have is a ping location, display mini map, color units using player colors, and clear. I don't, I don't, still don't see the inactive SCV button. Okay. Um, is it supposed to be to the right of the mini map? It's supposed to be over the mini map. On top of it. Basically, yes. I don't know that. Hmm. I'll have to look maybe into the settings. Maybe I have to do something to put it there. I mean, we can we can check. It's it's no problem. Shouldn't take longer than a minute. So we go just in a custom game. Let me check. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, custom game. Some custom game. Proxima station. Create game. And, and we just we just try it. Doesn't doesn't take long. So. That you know where it is and how it basically works. Yeah, that's that's no problem. Overall, I would say yeah, that, you you definitely that, need. I, I will I will tell you and write down for you some benchmarks you want to practice on yourself. I mean, I can coach as many as as much as I want you. The most 
work you have to do yourself. That's how it is. Like training and such. So if you just if you just stop all your SUVs, oh. there should be idle worker. Yeah, I see that. There, there it is. I, I did put yes, it on, on yeah. space for me because it's a nice hotkey I like. Space is good for me. Uh, and this is, as soon as one SCV finishes, it's get, it gets idle, becomes idle. And then you know, okay, supply depots, I know it. Bam. And there you go on, like, up until the 10 minute mark where you should roughly be at 200. Maybe 12 minutes, depends on. And then you can stop with the trick. It's a small okay, trick, but it should, it should help you a lot. Yeah, I'll start using it. Awesome. Yes. Okay, so um, let's go back into the TVP to get some small things sorted out. Oh yeah, uh, the benchmarks. There is, if if you practice, I will I will provide you with a build order you can practice yourself. Do you know how to read a build order? Did you ever read build order on, for example, Spawning Tool or any yes. other website? Okay, so yeah, I don't yeah. need to tell you exactly. Okay, that, that, that's awesome. Um, something not too difficult where you don't need to multitask too heavily because it's not the main focus right now. Main focus for you should be macro, in my opinion. Just reaching, uh, uh, getting the timings right reaching specific goals at a specific time that's what you should aim for and let me put the general down there so benchmarks you want to have 100 supply maybe 100 to 110 supply at the seven minute mark which sounds crazy, but with a normal build order, it's yeah. definitely possible. If you reach this benchmark, you already are on Master League level. If you practice it, like in custom games against an easy AI, that's what that that would it's that's what I would uh, tell you. Or uh, how do you say it? Advise you. That that's the word. I said. Yes. I would advise you to not go back into leather immediately, but uh, the build order I give you, or any other build order you like, I mean, it's, it's totally up to you. You should practice it and try to reach specific timings, not everything at once. If you go now into leather game, trying a new build order you haven't practiced, reaching ben benchmarks you don't know, it will all become a mess. Because you will be stressed out, you will not reach the benchmarks, maybe it will unmotivate you or, or demotivate, he will harass you for example if he likes and, and screw completely with your plans. So even though so it's, it's boring, the most success I think for you, the fastest, the, the best, is go into a custom game against some easy AI which isn't doing anything, just practice the build order until you Get the benchmarks, like 100 supply at the seven minute mark. Bam! And if you if you reach this, then go into yeah. leather and try it there yourself again. And if you manage to do this against a a real player, a human, you already will see in the replays that most of the time you should have two times his army size, which is enough to just steamroll him. No, no fancy drops needed, no fancy right. army maneuver, just producing overwhelming. Later on, if you reach diamond level or maybe even platinum, you can start with it. But I would say up until diamond, you can just overwhelm in most cases. You still will need to scout a little bit and adapt your army you're producing towards him. So in TVP, if he's going Colossus, you will need Vikings, for example. Mm. Or against Zerg, if he goes Roaches. And Ravager, you need tanks. But other than that, there mm -hmm. is not much you need to do. Um, because there's so much room for you to overwhelm him without really attacking him. He will try to be fancy and do stuff. But if you concentrate yourself just on you and your base and your macro, he won't find too many openings. And you will just be ahead because he makes so many mistakes and you don't. That's okay. that. That's the basic idea. It makes sense. That that's awesome. I like to hear that. So I will now check 
how many SEVs you should have at a specific time if I can if I can get this let's see where have we uh, let's just see something not too far away so that's that's good okay and okay that's not nice <laughs> A little bit difficult to find something. Okay, so depending on how the game goes, I would say you want to have 40, maybe 40 SCVs. Maybe, maybe it can even 25. be. I mean, you lost quite a lot to the Oracle. 16 now, 17. Need Oracle. Yes. So that, that, that Oracle really did hurt you a lot. Mm, but if you check before the Oracle, where, where did the first Oracle happen? Okay, you lost 7 SCVs already there. Just a little bit further, come on. Okay. So here you are at 30 SCVs. The fun part is, you are currently 5 SCVs ahead. Towards him. You are ahead in worker. Normally Protoss mm -hmm. is always ahead in worker against Terran because of the photon oh uh, not the photon the the time how it's called. The Chrono Boost. So they can produce faster units. Mm -hmm. But because of the mules that's balanced. Now in this situation you have five SCVs more and you have mules. One mule is equal to Four to six SCVs, if I'm not mistaken. So with the mules, basically at this specific time, you are ahead 12, 15 SCVs, which is almost half his worker size, which you are ahead in collecting resources. If you would spend all these resources into production facilities, yeah. army, and upgrades, you should be ahead 50% of his army. So his army, you will have 150 percent of his army size like half one his army size and half more this is the, it's a lot and you didn't do anything to drop him to harass him to attack him nothing because it's not necessary for you to do so just mm. make sure your gases are saturated properly if you do it you get add-ons on your on your production facilities basically they should never be idle never never ever never 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 you want to produce non-stop all the time up until you cannot do anymore because the game doesn't allow it. There's one more trick I would uh, yeah. want to share with you. It's not a very good trick for later on, but for overall improvement and winning your games and keeping you motivated, it should be good. Mm, if you have money, spend your money. Like on if if you will have one one thousand minerals, you should just throw down three barracks and one command center. Just do it. The thing that the thought behind this is, mm -hmm. it will happen to you quite a lot. Even uh, me on on I mean I am tier one master league, and I just had two two days ago a game where I was floating like 1.5k minerals for for and this is money yeah. which is on your bank in in Starcraft 2 money on the bank is bad because it's not working not like in the real game uh, life mm -hmm. so you need to spend it yeah. and if you have 1k minerals and you build three barracks and a command center you will have spent 750 of those minerals and the rest can go into uh, producing units again, researching upgrades. The next time you have those those minerals, you can go and produce even more units. So anytime you will produce units, you will produce out of maybe 12 racks, maybe 15 racks. For a professional game, it's way too many production facilities. But you are not that level now, so it doesn't matter at all if you have 18 barracks, for example, in the late game instead of 12. If you can't constantly produce, then you must, yeah. must 
make sure that if you produce, you produce as much as possible. And slowly this, this window, this gap will right. close with more and more practice. So that's that's that. Still, I like I like yes. I need, to, I need to concentrate more on my macro and just keep an eye with. Yeah, the SCVs it's, it's, production. It's also, I, for example, I get, see, I get my brain going in too many places, and I get. Mm -hmm. This this is if you if you try to do too much stuff at once. I would also that's why I would say go into go into into training mode. Go into a custom game, load up against an easy AI, practice your build order, practice your macro, practice your benchmarks. If you feel comfortable with it, go into leather game. Uh, an easy AI will not challenge you, but the biggest challenge, that, that's a good thing about StarCraft yeah. 2, the biggest challenger is your, are yourself. Like, can you hit your timings? Can you hit the, the buttons fast enough? Can you produce all of the time? In this instance, for example, you are heavily supply blocked, and while you can throw down uh, supply with the energy on the orbital command, it's not ideal. Uh, with the idle worker trick, for example, this should never happen again to you. And overall, I think if you if you work on your basics for now, this is where the best potential is to improve. Don't don't try to be fancy. This this all comes yeah. later, like the multi drop attacks and, and super stutter step micro. Yes, and I I know it's nice, but think think like that. Um, you have two two possible ways, and I've seen a lot of games, not not from you now, but from many other students I had. They were attacking the opponent and killing twelve worker. Okay, uh, they had thirty worker. The opponent had 30 worker and they killed 12, so there were 18 left. But because they didn't macro at all, at all, they also had only like 18 worker left at home. Which means due to all their efforts, they were just yeah. even. And mm -hmm. now think about it, if you, yeah. if you are at home in your base, macroing, caring just for yourself, like a little bit of scouting, of course, to adapt your army towards him. And he tries to be fancy, attack you. And if you have good, solid defenses, he will be massively behind. And you didn't do anything. Like, you did defend, okay? Right. You did macro, but you weren't out on the map just to stay even. The the risk and, and potential is, right. is really difficult to, to get with harassment done. Hold on one second. I, let me put... Let me... Let me put you on mute for one second. Yeah, sure. Okay, sorry. I've got uh, I've got kids as well. I had to attend to real quick. Yeah, no problem. But yeah, I understand what you're saying. I mean, if you're not macroing while well, you're microing, sometimes you're just battling to break even, and sometimes it's even worse. Yes, sometimes that, it might be better if I do less. That's that's the point. Sometimes less is more, and and in your league, definitely that's that's the case. I would say. Okay. Oh yeah, and also. Later on, this I game, see I, this. I lose, I lose to this a lot. Void race. Yeah. Yes. Um, you are overreacting quite a lot here. Um, with, the, with the turrets. You also are moving out without the starport. Never move out with your bio without medivacs. Never. You need the medivacs to heal them, but also to retreat if it's not going your way. You th this move basically costs you the game because now you're trading you don't have stim either he just can kill you and that was your army and what happens now is now he can contain you which is exactly what happens and you're dead 
from from here there's no it's pretty much over from right there no point back yeah you lost too many SVs you're bunkering up heavily what you what you could have done what you could have done I mean later on you drop to and he does he does recall but one minute later he stays on your doorstep again mm, you have two possibilities in a situation like that if it wouldn't be that far off like army supply wise I mean he's doubling your supply in worker and army that's already a bad sign yeah. what you what you could have tried in general is either drop to force him back or go for maybe one or two tanks tanks have such a good range so if he wants to contain you you can leap well, what's called re fr fr leapfrog forward slowly Le yeah, yeah. Uh, and just force him to either retreat or go all in with this army. Try try to force a reaction out of him. Yeah. Instead of just playing into his hands, bunkering up and he can have the whole map. But yeah, from, from that point yeah. off it was pretty pretty over. Yeah, from this point I was already I was already I was done by this point. Yeah. He got me almost by double supplies, so there's no exactly. back. Okay. Uh, um. Uh. So mm, I'm just typing some small things like if you if you are going for upgrades and you have double eBay, two eBays, you want to have the armory on the way when the upgrades are halfway done. So when they are done, you immediately can fire up your 2-2 two, two upgrades and if you have only yeah, one I'm eBay I'm so terrible at that I'm so terrible at that yeah that, that's no problem I always realize that I don't have it right when I try to upgrade it to yes yes yeah. um, so I'm, I'm just mm, second one one upgrade yes. oh wait done it's, it's no problem if you are not good at this right now that's that's totally fine. I'm just pointing out these things, typing them also in the notes, which I will send you after the after the session, and so that you can maybe 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 even print it out, have a have a how it's called a marker, uh, highlight highlighting the stuff which is important, so you have it in your brain, and while you play, try to think of it, like really actively thinking I need to do this and that because I want to achieve this and that if if you that it's it's a common thing yeah. even for people in GM they are on autopilot it doesn't have to be much to do with with creativity but just not not playing like blindfolded or or on on autopilot Use your brain while you play. Think, what am I doing? Why? What is my opponent doing? Why? And how can I use this for my advantage? Like, like with the, with uh, getting vision done, getting scouting done, stuff like that. If you, if you, I, I, it happens to a lot of people. Even in Diamond, they they see the base of the opponent. They could play with map hack, and they would still lose because they don't know what they see. And if you can't read into your opponent, it doesn't make to, it doesn't make sense at all to scout. I mean, if you can't say what you yeah. see, then why look at it at all? You wouldn't read a book in a language you don't speak. You know, doesn't make any sense. Why yeah. would you? Yeah. That, that's that's the thought process behind of that. And there are a lot of guides out there, but. Actually, if you really know the units and the possibilities of your opponent in, in the situation which you scout, you don't really need those. If you, if you see two gases and two gateways and no expansion, it tells you, okay, some aggression has to come. You can scout for it. If there are three wrecks, you know, no gas, marines, gas, reaper. You can limit, you, you can, Slowly but surely may, uh, um, how do I put this, eradicate his possibilities towards a few which are left 
and then pick one of those and and prepare for it. Right. Right. So this dim, for example, was also yeah, painful. Yeah, you, you you didn't have medivax out. You don't produce medivax. Each dim is hurting you. It's now you're supply capped again. Actually, yeah. you could have still won this game somehow, some way. It 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 is possible. I've seen other comebacks. It is it is possible, but it is really difficult. It it really depends on constant production. If you if you look at him, um, his skate rays could warp in right now, but he doesn't. So with really good macro you still could have won this somehow like getting this base done you have medivax evax some some scvs there lift a base produce bunker up tanks vikings mass marines for example with medivax bunker crush his army move across the map kill him buy time with drops which which we are doing right here awesome it sucks a little bit that you lost this this drop uh, but still, you are. The, the problem is in this case, this drop is not dangerous enough to make his army come back. It's just one medivac. If there would be like four medivacs and two, uh, two liberator yeah. or something like that, then he has to react and he doesn't want to base trade yeah, normally. Yeah. But yeah, this is, this is basically game yeah, over here. Yeah. Yeah, this is over. Well, you've given me a lot of food for thought. I'm gonna, let me, I'm gonna try to implement some of that and see if I yeah, whatever you send me, I'll try to print it out and see if I can't get, get some some benchmarks down and yes, and then uh, I I really do maybe think I'll play against the AI like you suggested, and then I'll yes, I I really do think that if you if you try this, I mean, it will take you some time, maybe ten games, maybe twenty games. I don't know. It, it depends on you, on your progress, what kind of player or, or even person you are. I don't know um, how dedicated you are to it, but I think you quite are, so th that shouldn't be a problem, to be honest. If you if you do this and then go, that that's the good thing about having potential. If you if you do it like that, go into the AI games, try the benchmarks. If you hit them, go into ladder, and suddenly you will win games with. Ease and you are questioning yourself. Why? Why? How? What? What's different? And that's that. Just you. You start thinking. You have the game. You have a better understanding of the game. And your opponents are still. You. You will just left your opponent behind you. So far behind you. And I really will. I. I really do think you will see it. After. After. I don't know how much time. Maybe two weeks, maybe four weeks. I don't know, but you will see it if you if you try it, go for it. Even if you don't hit the benchmarks perfectly, if you hit them to eighty percent, still diamond level, of course. So so big yeah. improvement yeah. will wait for you. Well, I anything, any improvement would be nice. I've never hit platinum. Yeah, even if I could hit platinum, that'd be nice. Uh, I'm Look sure you. I, I am sure you can reach platinum. I, I definitely do. You are. Let, let me tell you that you are not the most unskilled player I have coached so far. And if you, if you make some small adjustments and get the stuff down I just told you, you will see how big of a difference as a player you can get, uh, become. Good. Well, let me let me practice some of that, and uh, maybe another week or whenever I feel I've done some improvement, I'll, I'll get yes. with you again and show you some more replays, and hopefully there'll be progress and we can work on something different. Awesome. You just tell me how it's going. If you have some small questions, you can always ask me. I will still uh, search a build order for you now, give you that on the hand, so that you can practice it, also the benchmarks and such. Mm. And then we can the next time work on whatever is left. There's so much more you can improve if you want to. I really do think platinum is is doable. So, yeah. Are there any questions left for you before we close this out for today? No, I'll 
no, I'll, I'll practice some of those things. I appreciate your time. It's it's good to actually talk to you. I've heard you on YouTube a bunch, so it's that's it's the most good. impressive and, uh, thing that you that you came from YouTube. <laughs> I never thought this would ever happen. <laughs> No, yeah. really, I'm, I'm not a big YouTuber. I, I don't have yeah. many clicks on my StarCraft 2 videos, like 20 if it's... It's nice, but it's not like Loco or Crank or any big guy to say so. So it's it's really cool to have you yeah. come from YouTube. I, I really like that. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I'll, I'll practice that. Maybe we can have, a, have another... Uh... Another one here soon, maybe another week or two. I'll get back in touch yeah, with you. Sure, awesome. You just hit me up, t talk with me, and, and we get this, of course. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Best of luck for you. Okay. okay. Thank you, and I'll look forward uh, to, to receiving your uh, notes. Yes, I will I will send them you within five minutes or so. And maybe next time we'll have... Next, okay. next time we'll have a better phone connection. Yes, I, it wasn't too bad now. I didn't hear myself right. the whole right, time. Thank you, for so. your, thank you for your help. Yes, I thank you too. Have yeah. a good one. Good. Bye. Well, thank you. All right, bye. Hey, oh there. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support me, simply hit the thumbs up button. Do you have any wishes, feedback or suggestions? Put them into the comments below. You may also subscribe if you're new to the channel. I wish you a wonderful and stress-free day, take care, bye bye.